Hello there guys, Coach Chal here, Donkster Born, but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. This is a bit of a sad one in a way because Holiday Park in Germany are going to be saying goodbye to two of their beloved family attractions. And I've taken a, a screenshot on Google Maps of the site with these attractions. It's a massive site which gives us very exciting potential here uh, with my predictions about what could be happening. So uh, we're going to talk about the closure of these two new of these two old attractions, new attractions, old attractions. Be a bit surprising if they're new and they're closing. Um, through a Parker Lebnis article, massive shout out once again to Parker Lebnis, brilliant news source for the uh, mainly the Ger German theme park news and other European theme park news. So massive, massive shout out to them for uh, for the information used in this video. Uh, the link to their article will be in the description down below, along with links to Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, and also the Discord server where you, yes, you, the Ghost Gel fan base, can be a part of the Channel Nation and interact with other Ghost Gel fans, as well as the Google Forms link where you can submit your video ideas and content. To Suggestions. For now though guys, please like the video, comment down below your thoughts, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. We're getting closer and closer to 2,200 subs and 600,000 views in total. The goal at the end of the year is 4 thousand subscribers and a million views in total so please let's make that dream come true and for now guys via Parker Lebnis let's have a look at some information on the two closing attractions and also then look at my Google Maps screenshot of the site in question. So Holiday Park in Germany according to Parker Lebnis is separating from two additional attractions uh, traditional attractions for the 2021 season and beyond. The Sturmschiff Swinging Ship and Venenhopser Circular Ride both opened back in 1989 and will soon leave the amusement park in the Palatinate together. The Storm Ship had to close a few weeks after the start of the 2020 season due to a technical defect and has been standing still since then. The Wave Hopper on the other hand remained in operation but is now being sold via a sales page for rides. Both attractions should leave the holiday park soon, and on the website, the rides were even removed from the attraction overview for a short time, but added again later. And they're among the oldest systems in the park, which is very interesting. The dismantling of the two rides in front of the aqua station behind a large lake of the holiday park will create a lot of space for potential innovations. There's no concrete plans for a new use of the area at the end of the park yet. Obviously, we know for 2021, the park is going to be opening the Wikiland with two new rides, which is the Splash Battle and the Disco Coaster, the playground as well. Originally, there was thought about moving the Wave Hopper to a new area, but the plans were discarded after a short time. So the closure and the selling, well, the selling of at least one one of them of the two traditional attractions is very sad news however with the site in question i can tell you guys right now there is a lot of excitement to be had about the future of this site so on your screen now fan dabby dorsey catchphrases back um this is the official site in question uh, this is the uh, area you can see the two rides in front of the aqua station and you can see that large lake can't you it's 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 it's, it's it, the site but the potential of this site is just it's massive it's absolutely massive obviously the lake is a huge lake area not i, I, I mean the aqua station i believe is still operating i think i'm not too sure i mean it did say on google maps that it's closed but that's probably because all theme parks are closed um but um i mean if they do plan to remove the aqua station as well i could see that whole area where the two rides are and the aqua station being like the plaza the queue line and the station area for a brand new roller coaster over that lake now obviously i think the lake could be drained i mean is it possible to do that comment down below if you know more than me uh but i could see that lake getting drained you know i could see that well certain bits getting drained maybe maybe they could put some stuff over water but maybe what they could do is and this is something that's happened at wallaby belgium uh it's gonna be happening to six flags over texas in 2022 a mac power splash use the station for the aqua station and turn it into a mac power splash and maybe that whole area gets turned into a queue line and exit um that feeds into the pathway shall we say so basically the you can see a path coming into the yellow circle maybe that's all like a plaza area so the path still runs through uh, but you get like your entrance queue line and your exit and you have like maybe a bridge going over the path as part of the queue line you have your exit path as well and where that aqua station is that building opposite the two right you have that as a new station 
for the Mac Power Splash and sort of build it out if you can and sort of have that over the lake sort of interacting near the Fisher Butte ride and the Tower ride opposite as well. So uh, that would be a cool addition. Another cool ride if you were to drain the entire lake and just put a new coaster over it. I reckon that a Gerslauer Infinity would work very, very well. I don't think it'll be anything too massive. I'm not looking here at Condor at Walby, Belgium uh, for this year, the Intamin Mega Coaster. I'm not looking anywhere near that level. Probably something more compact, a bit, bit, bit more footprint uh, related. So maybe something like the Map Power Splash, maybe something like Gerslauer Infinity, maybe even a Taran style launch coaster would be great. Uh, but I would like to see a brand new roller coaster at Holiday Park in the next couple of years. Maybe a 2022, 2023 investment, 2024 even, might be on the cards. I, th I think between 2022 and 2025, I reckon this is perfect to see Holiday Park's brand new roller coaster and theme it to water. Theme it to water because there's a real opportunity to do that in terms of the creative potential of this attraction and what they could do with it. So um, there's real potential here to, to see the lake drain, to see it become a brand new coaster. And if you can't drain the lake or certain parts of it, then a coaster would be great. And I think a Mac Power Splash would be wonderful for that site because I think it makes use of the water all too well. So I think that... Um, for Holiday Park, I reckon that the introduction of a Mac Power Splash would be absolutely wonderful. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seekers of All Ages. That is looking at my thoughts and analysis and my predictions on what I could see on the Holiday Park uh, theme park on that particular site. I think the Aqua Station would go as a part of that, and I think the whole lake would become a transformed area along with the plaza area where the two rides are located. The least I want to see is like replacement ride systems. I don't want to see something boring like replacement ride systems. I want to see a brand new coaster, a brand new major attraction on that site and using that plaza wide. Wisely. Uh, so massive potential for this site and I think this could be the start of a major new project in the next couple of years So stay tuned for more on Coast Child YouTube channel But thank you very much guys for watching this theme park news update Stay tuned for more videos We've got our uh, early prediction videos to come next week So stay tuned for them because we can't, I cannot wait to record them and release them But for now guys thank you very very much My name is Coast Shell. keep them in the coast life And I'll see you guys next video very very soon Take care guys Have a holiday-tastic day Parker Levness, thanks for the information.